In the intricate tapestry of legal systems designed to maintain order and protect societies, there exists the profound and consequential field known as criminal law. Envision a legal framework meticulously crafted to define and punish offenses against the public, ensuring justice is served for those who violate societal norms. This is the realm of criminal law, where legal principles intersect with notions of morality, punishment, and the protection of individual and collective well-being. At the heart of criminal law lies the recognition that certain behaviors, deemed harmful or threatening to the public, merit intervention by the state. Criminal offenses range from violent acts such as murder and assault to nonviolent offenses like theft, fraud, and white-collar crimes. The law sets forth a system of rules, procedures, and penalties to address criminal conduct and protect individuals and society at large. In the mystical journey through criminal law, legal definitions of crimes and their elements become integral. Crimes are typically categorized based on severity, with felonies representing more serious offenses carrying higher penalties, and misdemeanors representing lesser offenses. Each crime is defined by specific elements that must be proven for a conviction, including acts, actus reus, and mental states, mens rea. Legal doctrines such as the presumption of innocence, the burden of proof, and the right to a fair trial form the bedrock of the realm of criminal law. The presumption of innocence ensures that individuals accused of crimes are presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. The burden of proof rests on the prosecution to present evidence supporting the guilt of the accused. The right to a fair trial guarantees due process, including the right to legal representation, confrontation of witnesses, and a neutral and impartial tribunal. In the realm of criminal law, punishment is a central theme. Penalties for criminal offenses may include imprisonment, fines, probation, or community service. The severity of punishment often corresponds to the gravity of the offense, with the goal of deterring criminal conduct, protecting the public, and rehabilitating offenders. Legal frameworks also address principles of criminal responsibility, such as accomplice liability and the defense of insanity. Accomplice liability holds individuals accountable for aiding, abetting, or encouraging criminal acts committed by others. The defense of insanity acknowledges that individuals lacking the mental capacity to understand the wrongfulness of their actions may not be held criminally responsible. Criminal law extends its reach into specialized areas, including cybercrime, organized crime, and terrorism. Legal frameworks strive to adapt to evolving forms of criminal conduct, addressing new challenges posed by technology, globalization, and the interconnectedness of criminal enterprises. In the age of criminal justice reform, criminal law adapts to address issues related to sentencing guidelines, the use of force by law enforcement, and the rehabilitation of offenders. Legal frameworks seek to strike a balance between punishment and rehabilitation, recognizing the complexities of addressing the root causes of criminal behavior. Criminal law, in its essence, is a guardian of societal order, a legal structure that seeks to deter crime, punish wrongdoing, and protect the vulnerable. It reflects the understanding that the criminal justice system is a critical component of a just and orderly society, ensuring accountability for those who violate the law and providing mechanisms for rehabilitation and reintegration into the community. As societies grapple with evolving notions of justice, individual rights, and systemic reforms, criminal law remains a dynamic and critical field, adapting to the complexities of human behavior, societal expectations, and the pursuit of a fair and effective system of criminal justice. It stands as a testament to the belief that a well-functioning criminal justice system is essential for maintaining the delicate balance between individual freedoms and the collective well-being of communities.